Happy Monday, everybody. Coach Brian the Ginger here with Fitness on Fire. Today, I got my Monday morning race recap. And uh, the race I'm going to talk about today is, of course, our very first Solo California Stadium race. This race was held at uh, LA Dodger Stadium, which uh, is a great stadium, great venue. Uh, we managed to squeeze about eight to 10,000 people into the stadium this weekend for this race. And uh, it was just a beautiful, sunny day. Racing was happening. Um, we saw a really, really incredible first race for the area. So hopefully, because there are quite a few more stadiums in SoCal, we can see a few more of these uh, stadium races out here and uh, pack them in and have some fun. Uh, let's uh, talk about the race itself. Uh, first off, I got to give big, big props to our overall winners. The fastest time was Mr. Ryan Kent, who took overall 28 minutes and 49 seconds. Amazing. A to you, Mr. Ryan Kent. Behind him uh, was Mark uh, Batres, uh, Michael Miragalia. Um, then the women's, we had Kate Ripple, uh, Ripple Kramer. I'm sorry, I'm not very good with names. Uh, we had Miss uh, Faye Morgan, uh, who not only took second overall women's, but also first um, masters uh, for, for women. And then uh, Natalie Miano, uh, masters group. Uh, shout out to Mr. Uh, Kevin Donahue, who took men's masters. Uh, good job, Mr. Donahue. Rocco Flores right behind him. And then, of course, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit of favoritism. Mr. Mark Montano, my boy from San Diego, took third place. That's just another tr uh, podium for that guy. He's, he's beasting it out. I love him for it. Uh, beyond that, we had the women's. Uh, Faye Morgan, of course, I already talked about. Krista Mullen, and then Miss uh, Kara Volkoff. Uh, once again, I'm sorry if I trashed your name, you guys. I'm horrible with names, but hey, a root of you guys. You guys are awesome athletes. Great job. But now let's talk about the race. I tracked the race about three and a half miles long, uh, about 120, 130 feet of elevation. And uh, the stairs, the stairs were, uh, they were incredible. They, they were killer stairs. Uh, you, we saw a lot of the original uh, obstacles that you see in a lot of different races from your A-frame. There was about three to four eight-foot walls, which were pretty cool. We had the, uh, the Z-wall, of course, the rope climb, the multi-rig. Um, there was the spear throw. Um, we also had a few uh, unique stations that I would thought were kind of cool. There was a jump rope. Uh, there was a ball slam station, push-up stations. Uh, then we had, instead of your traditional, um, uh, I guess it would be log carry, we had a jug carry. Uh, the jug carry was interesting. I want to talk about that just for a second. The, the jug carry, I guess, started out for elite and competitive. You had to carry two jugs. Uh, I ran, not elite this weekend, uh, a little bit under the weather, but I did run. When I ran about nine-ish and I got to the jug carry, it was down to a single jug that was carried. And a lot of them were leaking and a few of them were stuck at the top. FYI, if you left your jug at the top and came down without it, I need to talk to you. Uh, beyond that is uh, I hear, and after we went through that, a lot of jugs were broken so much that it was just up and down the stairs without a jug. So I don't know what the problem was with that. Uh, maybe we need to look into that a little bit better. Maybe we need to drag some logs out there and just log it up and down the hill. Uh, then there was a lot of uh, crawls. The crawls of the stadium, there's no barbed wire. It is the rubber wire, which you're thinking, hey, that's not too hard. But when you're going up seven flights of stairs, which just seemed like seven flights of stairs, it probably wasn't that high. They probably weren't actual flights. But when you're just crawling up and 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 up these stairs, a crawl is a crawl. And uh, if you haven't been working on your bear crawls, I'm, it was pretty tricky. I saw a lot of people burning out there. So we need to get back on those bear crawls. That's what the coach is telling you right now. Um, her coins, of course. And then there was a box jump, which was pretty cool. It was 20 box jumps. This was towards the end, uh, right before the four foot wall hurdles, which were kind of fun. The rope climb, the multi-rig, and the, uh, the gauntlet, which the gauntlet, I guess, is here is a, is a classic favorite with all stadium races. I got my first time doing it. It was really cool because I bolted through a thing and these aren't very heavy and they're a little heavy. So that was pretty good. There was um, some difficulties and a lot of chatter about the uh, multi-rig. Uh, it seems that the multi-rig, you know, the plastic loops, people are saying they were sweaty, they were, they, you know, they were harder. I didn't find them too much difficult myself, but I saw a lot of people you know, struggling with them. Uh, I did see quite a few people take some nasty spills. Uh, and uh, towards the end, when you ring the bell, we probably, probably should have had the pads go out a little bit further uh, because people were ringing the bell, flying off, and smacking. One gentleman actually went down right in front of me, and I was, 
are you okay? So, uh, obstacles all in all, there were like really cool obstacles. I like the mixture of the uh, stuff you see as far as the workout stuff and then mixed with the actual traditional Spartan workouts. Um, beyond that, it was, it was really, really a great race. Uh, I want to talk about biggest team, Weeple team. And I actually did get a chance to sit down and talk to Mr. Uh, Dave Huckle uh, of Weeple Army. Uh, and uh, this is your interview right here. What's up, guys? Coach Ginger from Fitness on Fire here, and I'm with Dave Huckle, Mr. Weeple himself. And uh, <laughs> first off, I'd like to say congratulations. Weeple took biggest team in the LA Dodger Stadium Spring! Yeah! And uh, we are lucky enough to be here at the uh, Dodger Stadium race uh, first year. First year. Hopefully not the last year because it was a heck of a race. I think they'll be bringing it back. They'll sure. definitely bring it back. Uh, this man ran two laps. I'm tired after one. <laughs> got one more to go, I think. And one more to go, and one more to go. Uh, so, Dave, uh, give me a quick view, man. What'd you think about the race? It was good, good. Nice, right at 5K length. Um, obstacles were good. Great use of stadiums, especially stairwells. Um, a lot of stairs. I thought that the, the, the running the competitive wave early on, we had the two jerry cans, which was much more difficult than running the open wave with the one. Uh, that made a monster difference for me and my grip. Um, but overall, I thought it was a great race, good obstacles, good variety. Missed the monkey bars. I wish I would have brought some monkey bars oh, in here. There's no monkey but, bars. Uh, no monkey bars, no twister. Um, but other than that, I mean, it was a great race. Uh, I really like the use of the stadium. Um, I'm glad that we got to go on the outfield morning track, which is great. Uh, so, yeah, it was good. And, like and, and a couple of different things. Uh, there's a, uh, a giant rope, jump rope. Yeah. There's push-ups. Uh, there, uh, what else do we have that's different? Uh, slam ball. Uh, slam ball, box, box jumps. jumps. Box jumps. It's, I always oh. find, I find the stadium races are a, a good mix of obstacle courses without the mud and water with more CrossFit-like activities. So, um, this one had all the things that you just mentioned. Um, ones I've done in the past had rowing machines. Really? Yeah. Which one was that? Um, New York. New uh, York. City Field in 2013 Great. when I did that one. I'm a big guy. I love rowing, man. Bring the rowing here. It was here. crazy. <laughs> they had like 30 rowing machines, and then they, uh, they wouldn't let you see how far you've gone and what the time was, and you had to do... I don't know how many, like hundreds or thousands of meters you have oh to do in two minutes. Uh, and then if you fail, you have to do burpees. Oh! So, not only are you tired, now uh, you gotta do burpees. That was, that was a tricky one. And then I did one once in um, in Mexico, at Estadio Azteca in Mexico City. And that one was over five miles long. And that was like the most brutal stadium course I've ever seen. There's <laughs> just so much. And, and you know, uh, this one, it was I, I clocked about four and a half miles. And then uh, you were, we were talking about the rig. Four so, and a half miles. Is it four and a half miles? Three and a half miles. Three and a half miles. I was about to say, that's crazy. I, like I got a mile too much, three. man. I, I walked around in circles a lot. <laughs> Let's talk about the rig. Okay, so the rig had three lanes that were all rings, and then it had the rest of them were rings and two baseballs. Yeah. Now, I noticed that most of them have wooden rings, but this actually had plastic rings. Did that affect you? I think they've been using the plastic rings pretty consistently for a while. Uh, what affected me the most, I actually failed, the only thing I failed all day was on my first lap, I failed the rig, because uh, I, I think my grip from the, the jerry cans just wore my grip out, and then doing the rope climb right before the rings wore my grip out, and I just, and the rings on this one are really low. Yes, they're so low. So if you're over 5'5", five, five, you gotta like tuck your legs up. Uh, so when I first started going, I was dragging my feet, so I had to jump up, and then my hands were slippery and sweaty, and it just, just slipped off. So, um, so yeah. I don't think the ring type affected me. So, but I made it on the second. I made it on my second lap. Second, second one. Second one. Yeah. You know, do one, do your burpees, and then do a second one. So, That's right. So burpees. finish up. Finish up here. Let's talk about one thing. Ruck with hook. Ruck with hook. Ruck with hook. And that is when uh, September 23rd in Malibu. We're going to be doing our. It's our sixth uh, Ruck with hook event. Yes. So check it out. Uh, I'll try to add a link to it. If not, Dave Huckle, find him on Facebook, Weeple mm -hmm. Army. And uh, I appreciate your time, man. Thank yeah, you very much. There's a Facebook event for Rest with Huck, so if you look it up, you should be able to find it. Awesome. Here you go. Well, there you have it from Mr. Dave Huckle of Weeple Army. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in and checking out this uh, recap weekend. Uh, like to lastly say, uh, a rude to everybody who came out for the very first time and, and raced this race. Uh, like I said, eight to 10,000 people showed up in the sun, hot weather, 
uh, testing themselves against all these obstacles. To them, it's brand new. They've never seen anything like this. So uh, that great job on everybody who showed up for the very first time and, and did it. Uh, to everybody who's been racing competitively and keep training and training and training and busting their butts to get better and better, great job, guys. Um, it, you know, this I love this community. It's really, really awesome. People are killing it out there, doing what they love, having a great time. Remember, we do this for fun, and it's a great thing to do. Uh, beyond this, uh, the next race I believe coming up for most people is Breckenridge coming up here in a little bit, and then we got the uh, Tahoe coming up. Uh, Tahoe, of course, you guys know, and for those who don't know, is the world championship for Spartan. So uh, those are the next couple races coming up. My next race is actually going to be till the Ultra Beast in Dallas, but I will try to review whatever races I can, get as much information. Uh, feel free to reach out to myself, Brian the Ginger, on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, uh, Fitness on Fire. We're located in Irvine, California for all your OCR training needs. So uh, that's all I got for now. Check it out and look forward to more of my videos I'm going to be putting up here. If you need anything, dude, take it easy. Aroo!